Over the last few days, Portland city workers have been striking for better pay and working conditions. But tonight, employees are celebrating after a pivotal conversation with the city that should lead to a more desirable contract. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now live with more on the meeting today that was initially meant to be another strike. Jeffrey. Yeah, that's right. It turned out to be a meeting that left many workers feeling awfully more respected by the city. See, what was originally meant to be a strike for well, city workers wound up being a far greater success for workers who have been striking for days from various sectors across the city. It's hard to say what we don't do. Uh, park rangers, park techs, horticulturalists. When I say you get, you say power. For those who you hear chanting, the list goes on. Construction equipment operators, automotive equipment operators. I mean, our, our title says it all. We are Portland city laborers. We're the people who do the work for you. People like Will Tucker, working in wastewater for nearly 17 years. When we're doing our job, people flush their toilets, everything goes away. Nobody even thinks about it. If people like Tucker weren't around, he says that would be a serious health hazard. Let's see, you would have sewage flowing into the river, you'd have sewage flooding out most of downtown, you could possibly have sewage rolling over the runway at PDX. Year after year of working, he says he's seen cut after cut. When it came time for contract, they wanted to snub their noses at us and say, well, yeah, you're essential, but not when it comes to pay. Yeah, it just gets old after a while. I was ready to go as long as it took to get the city to knuckle under. After days of striking, this gathering was originally meant to be the same. But after a tentative agreement has been reached, instead, Will tells me it turned into something else. Now it's more turned into a celebratory, you know, gathering. <laughs> this is a contract the city might not feel great about right now, but is going to be happy with long term. James O'Loughlin explained the contract showcases an average raise of 11% for union workers, including standby pay or compensation for people expected to be ready to come into work on a whim, plus increased incentive for positions that have been vacant. Meanwhile, other workers expected to be the ones to fill in. Fewer mandatory overtimes where they can't go home to their families because you'll have a sufficient workforce with that incentive to, to come into the city work. So far from what I see, most people are pretty happy with it. Yeah, I think it's a win. I think finally we've, we've earned the respect of the city. The key word for any union is solidarity. Respect, that's what this is about. More than anything else, the respect. The contract is not yet set in stone as city workers are going to have to vote on it throughout the coming week. If it ends up getting voted down, negotiations will continue. Live in Southeast Portland, I'm Jeffrey Limblow for Fox 12 Oregon.